Okay, so the weather hasn't been cooperating and the birch tips haven't been cooperating, but we know that the pen works. The chicken wire pen worked because we had rabbits into it on the very first night. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna reboot this entire experiment. And by rebooting it, I mean, I'm taking the pen and I'm moving the pen. And I'm gonna go put the birch tips back into it. And I'm gonna experiment with uh, the size of the gate, the size of the snare, and the height of the snare from the bottom of the snare to the ground. We're gonna find out what works best. We're gonna take measurements so that we have uh, a field guide sort of as to what sizes of gates work best and what sizes of snares work best and the elevation of the snares works best. So what I wanna do at the end of this experiment, I wanna give everybody the best set option versus gate size, snare size and snare height. And uh, also, while we're doing that experiment with the pen and the gates and the snares and the height and all that, we're also going to run a bait versus bait side-by-side -side comparison test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a second trail camera. I'm going to put out two baits side-by-side. -side. First, I'm going to use all the baits that I can think of that uh, Newfoundlanders here uh, currently are using for uh, for the rabbit pins okay um, like it'll be birch tip versus alder tip birch tip versus red or, or and <clears throat> I'm thinking that the birch is going to beat the alder but anyway uh, what I'm going to do is it's going to be bait versus bait the winner remains the losing bait will get swapped out so the baits that I will use that I can think of that are natural baits and then you guys uh, drop some comments and, and help me out uh, to see if there's any baits that we have here that I can get this time of year uh, to use in the pens. So it's going to be birch, alder, juniper, um, red ozer dogwood, hay, salted hay and i can't think of any other but now we can get some uh produce from from the from the store too we can try uh carrot apple lettuce cabbage uh oh and there's a commercial product uh, i went down to walmart and i priced a little bag of uh rabbit food and I think you can get it for like five ninety five or something like there, uh, or maybe seven ninety five for a bag of uh, rabbit pellets, rabbit food pellets. So uh, we'll also experiment with the actual rabbit pellets. So that experiment will be having a trail cam place, two different baits side by side that one camera can capture, and we'll see which which. Uh, bait that the rabbits come in spend more time on maybe come to first and spend more time on or whatever we'll, we'll try to determine grounds for a winner right if it's a really hungry rabbit it'll probably eat a little bit off of one and a little off the other i, I don't know maybe they like a little bit of variety in their diet i'm not really sure uh typically we always use birch tips here in this area everybody that i talk to that use pen sets it's, it's, it's birch tip pen set. And we always use natural uh, wood and, and limbs and stuff to fence it in. Uh, but we're, we're changing things up. We're gonna see what works best and why. And at the end of the day, I hope to be able to give you guys the best, top, top three, say the top three um, baits and the the best overall the dimensions for a set around a pen regarding gate size snare size snare height and and the best three baits so all that being said i still have part three of what i was currently doing to post i got it mostly edited i'll go home i'll finish editing that video i'm going to post this one first then part three will follow 
then it's going to be a reboot. We're going to do this right. We're going to put out two trail cameras and we're going to run two experiments at the same time and daily compare our, uh, our results. And we're going to do it away from the, uh, the endless supply of birch tip and shelters that I'll, I'll show you now. I'll show you the full um, scale as to what I'm trying to compete with only 80 yards away. So it, it's very difficult to get a rabbit to leave all of that to come to a little bit of this. All right. So all that being said, the reboot will start after part three. Talk to you guys later. And yes, I've stopped carrying the little 22 simply because if I seen a rabbit, I'd be too tempted to shoot it. So the cutting and cover starts here. All right, uh, all these uh, evergreens are, uh, are there. It provides really good cover for the rabbit. Next to that, you have all these birch and more evergreens. Okay, so we're, we're gonna keep going. This is why we're moving the pin. I wanted to, to see if we could pull the rabbits from it using different bait sources, but I'll, I want to really run this experiment to see best bait, best snare, uh, pen setup. Okay. So there's a little bit of a gap between here and there. But now over here on the other side of that trail, it, there, there's more um, cutting and stuff going on. Right there. More birch tips and more cutting going on over there. And then you got this. All right. And then you have this both sides in through the woods. And, and, and there's a lot more than this. So you got red ozers down. You got birch and evergreens down. You, these are wonderful, wonderful uh, birch, evergreen um, brush piles. Great spots for rabbits to be tucked up under, uh, being out of sight and near a, a great food source. So you see all the birch, all the evergreens. And this goes on right to the right to the back of the houses. Okay. Birch everywhere. Evergreens. Everywhere. More birch. More evergreens. We come to the little Y behind the house. And on both sides, birch evergreens. As we continue on out here, we got more birch evergreens. So, it being so close to where I got the pen set, and with the low population of rabbit, I think I'm just better off uprooting that pen because competing with all of this is uh, just maybe a little too much with the very low population of rabbits that we got here currently. Add to that, you know, the, the rabbit that hasn't been back in a while, perhaps he's, uh, he's already dead. There's other people setting snares and uh, you have what do we got here? We, well, I seen a fox up here the other night. So we got fox. There's coyote tracks. Uh, we got lynx. We got pine martin. We got owls, hawks, and eagles. We got mink, weasels. We got feral cats. And a lot of people up here let their dogs run loose. So you, you have uh, dogs running around and, and, and catching rabbits and stuff. 
So, you know, the rabbits, they got a hard go here. They really do. Hard for them to uh, regenerate. Hard for them to repopulate. But uh, they will. They have. And they, they always do. But we're running an experiment and we need to move ourselves into a better location where we don't have all this to compete with very nearby okay so i'll end this video here looking forward to the results looking forward to this experiment and i hope you guys follow along as as we progress talk to you later